Welcome again to another tip or trick. Uh, today's tip is to do comments in the task list. You can see there the summary information. Let's jump right into it. So the question is, how do you do to do comments in the task list? And it's actually pretty darn easy. If you don't have your task list up already, you can go to view task list. There it is right there. Or you can do control backslash comma T. And once you have your task list up, uh, in this case I'm going to start out in C Sharp. So in C Sharp you start typing a comment and then you just put the letters T-O-D-O. Case doesn't matter. And then you can put whatever you want. You know, do something here. If I can spell here correctly. There we go. Now, whenever you move to the next line, it will show up in the task list. But now you're saying, wait a minute, I don't see it. It's not showing up in the task list. That's correct, because right now, by default, the task list shows user tasks. You have to click on the drop-down list and choose to see comments. If you don't do that, you won't see them, just like what happened here. So there's my comments. There's my to-do. And now these are things that remind me to do stuff. The great thing about it is if you double-click on it, it will actually take you back to the line of code where the comment is. So the question is, how do we do this in VB? So real quick, I'm going to go ahead and whip up a VB project. It's pretty much the same way, but just to show you how it's done, just do a quick console application. I won't worry about saving changes there. And so in VB, same basic principle. I just do a comment. T-O-D-O, and then I say, okay, you know, do stuff here, and as soon as I go to the next line, you can see it shows up here, and again, double click, and it takes me to the line, right? Now, in this case, VB likes to highlight the line, not sure why. All right, so now that's C Sharp and VB, uh, but what about C++? Now, C++ is a little more interesting animal, so if you're working with C++, uh, watch out. It's got a little more uh, funk to it here, so I'll just do a CLR console application. We'll just call this uh, C++ test. And boom, there we go. Not worried about saving changes there. So whenever you're working in C++, for those of you who are working in C++, you actually have to turn this feature on. It is not on by default. Uh, so what do you do? Well, you go to Tools, Options. Then you have to go to your text editor, C++, Formatting, and do you see the option that says enumerate comment tasks? Let me zoom in on that for you. Enumerate comment tasks. By default, it is set to false. I'm going to set it to true. And when you set that to true, click on OK. Now you can get your comments. So here I'll just do a to do. Whoops. And blah. And we're ready to rock and roll. See, same example. Now, now in VB and C Sharp, you saw that case didn't matter. Does case matter in C++? Uh, C++? And in fact, case does matter. You can see here I did a to-do blah, and if I don't do to-do in uppercase, it will not show up. So let's change it to uppercase, and there it is. So um, case doesn't matter in C Sharp and VB, but in C++, case absolutely does matter for those using C++. All right, well, uh, that's pretty much it. My name is Zane Nabulsi. I'm a senior developer evangelist with Microsoft. There's all my contact information. If you love this tip and you want to get some more tips, go out and buy the book, Coding Faster, Getting More Productive with Microsoft Visual Studio. I wrote it with my good friend Sarah Ford, and we'd love it if you'd go out and purchase that sucker. And that's all we have for today. We'll see you next time.